What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today we are at my shed and uh, as you can see I have a, an IBC tote here which is a, a large uh, container for liquids. Um, and I'm going to be ma uh, starting off a video series on making a rain catchment system for uh, harvesting rainwater. And uh, so first thing, this is a 255 gallon IBC tote or 275, I forget which. Um, but anyways, it's got, it's a, a plastic food grade container and there are different kinds of containers. So you need to make sure that you've got a food grade one that uh, contained some sort of cleanser or something that was uh, necessary to be packaged in. What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to start a video series on building a rain catchment system. This is the first video in the series and this is going to go through how to locate and create a foundation for this. This is an IBC tote. Um, it is a food grade container that is uh, used to transport uh, various liquids and it comes with a, a metal cage so it's very strong. Um, it's meant to be stacked up. You could stack another one on top of this if you wanted to but uh, I'm going to start with one and I'm going to locate it by my shed where I'm going to put gutters on the sides that will um, direct rainwater into this tote. So today what I need to do is I need to create a foundation for this because as you can see on the front this thing's going to weigh a whole bunch. This is going to be weigh well over a ton when it's full of water. So I need to create a foundation that, you know, through the rain and through the, the hot Texas summers is not going to um, get unlevel or, um, or cause any problems. So what I've got, I've got some cement blocks, uh, concrete blocks, um, and I've got some sand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make this level, and then I'm going to put sand on top and smooth it out so that as as these blocks settle slightly that it'll provide a firm foundation and proper drainage. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use a rake and I'm going to break up the ground, smooth it out a little bit, and create a place where I can start laying down the sand. Now throughout this process I'm going to be using a level to make sure that this is level. You don't want to just eyeball this because you're going to be dealing with thousands of pounds of water and so and in order for the water to drain properly out of the tank and so forth, you're going to need it to be as level as possible. So we still have a little ways to go. Now that I've got this um, fairly level, I'm going to go ahead and sp spread out some, some sand. Now i got three bags. I really don't know how much this is going to take, but my goal is to put about an inch worth of sand down, and then I'm going to lay these, these uh, concrete pavers down on top. Okay, this is two bags worth. This looks like it's going to be enough, so I'm going to spread that out, smooth it out, and put down the pavers. Okay, we've got it smoothed out. Pretty much spot on. So, I bought enough pavers that I can lay these in three rows to cover the entire bottom of the tote so that it will spread the weight around evenly. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these out in the three rows, and then I'm going to tamp them down to where they're as level as possible. Okay, so here we have them laid. There's three rows or five rows, depending on how you look at this, but it's a three by five square with these uh, one inch, one and a half inch, whatever they are, pavers. These pavers are super cheap. They're like 75 cents or something a piece at Home Depot or Lowe's. So uh, this is gonna provide a pretty pretty good foundation to distribute the weight of this this unit. So I'm going to put this thing on top of the foundation and show you what it looks like and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, there we have it. It's squarely on. These pavers actually worked perfectly. Um, I measured them at the store and they are spot on almost exactly to the inch big enough to for all four corners of this thing. I put the spigot on this side to uh, be closer to the fence so that I can eventually, I'm going to use this to automatically water my garden over there so anyway thanks for watching the second uh, video of this we'll be putting in some gutters and uh, and collecting the actual water stay tuned